means working people are on track, on average, to lose $4,000 in real terms this year. The wage figures just announced are an absolute disaster for working people. Wages are growing at half the inflation rate. Today, Australian unions have been fighting for a 5.5% pay increase for award minimum wage workers. Of the $40 billion that was spent on companies who did not need JobKeeper, so profitable companies, that equates to an $8 an hour increase for minimum wage workers. My name is Amin, I am a cleaner. I've been on minimum wage most of my life. It's really hard to survive um, on, on this minimum wage. I'm working two jobs just to get by. One job is not enough to cover the, the expenses for, for a normal family. Um, hello, I'm Jordan, I'm a uni student and I'm a fast food worker. Um, at the moment I don't even make the national minimum wage. I'm 20 years old which means that I'm not eligible for the full minimum wage thanks to youth rate is that it's hard enough to do a full-time study load let alone support yourself through work and find the time to do that as well. We have profits up 13%, we have sales up between 10 and 15%, we have CEO's pay going up 23%, we have unemployment now at very low levels but wages aren't recovering. We are leaving behind the very people who are there to support the whole country during the pandemic and that is a shameful position. Authorised by S. McManus, Australian Council of Trade Unions, Melbourne.